Hello all, this is WNC Bike Rider and welcome to our tabletop review and a quick commentary on the 686 Smith & Wesson 357 Magnum Revolver. Uh, this revolver has been in production, current production by Smith since 1980, continuously produced. Uh, comes in seven different variants, uh, this one um, being an older one, and I'll explain to that in a minute. It has no dash, so it's a 686 no dash version. Uh, based on the serial number lookup, it was actually manufactured in 1983. Now, how you can tell what um, variant you have is you're going to look at the um, open the cylinder release and open the cylinder, and you're going to look at the serial number right underneath it is the model number. This, as you can see, hopefully a 686 with no dash. Um, lockup is excellent, as you might expect. Uh, we'll just take a quick uh, look at this version um, and you can see it has a pin front sight and what that means is it's simple to change the front sight just drive out that pin and drop in a new front sight should you ever desire to uh, the rear sight is fully adjustable um, standard from the factory for uh, windage of course left and right and as well as um, elevation uh, it's got the stock wood grips on it and that's a desirable um, as you can buy, of course, almost infinite numbers of aftermarket grips, but it's always nice to have the stock grips um, with a stock firearm, of course. Uh, we'll take a look at the sight picture, and it's a real, very sharp, crisp sight picture. Sight acquisition is really natural. It's a very well-balanced gun. You get a great sight picture being um, six-inch barrel, of course. Would help, it helps immensely with that. Um, very, very smooth operation, and double action, it's pleasant, it's consistent, the pull is exactly the same throughout the, uh, throughout the, uh, the rotation. Um, and then you have, of course, single action, which is very crisp as well. The um, hammer has the firing pin mounted right on it, which is desirable um, by many in revolvers. Uh, this particular variant has six shots, and I'm saying that because the, the new version, the 686-6 so in current production, can be uh, purchased with seven shot capacity, and I don't know how that would work. Uh, kind of like my revolvers, I'm used to them, six shot capacity, the speed loaders, and what have you. Uh, barrel lengths are available in two and a half inch, three inch, four inch, and six inch. Uh, this, of course, is a six inch model. Just a great shooter. I've put a lot of rounds through this gun. Recoil is basically, especially in, in 38 Special, of course you can shoot 38 Special and it is undetectable. You don't even feel any of it. And with the uh, 357 round, which of course is much more powerful, only a slight recoil. You can come right back on target very quickly. Of course, it does have some heft to it. And as you know, that helps with um, recoil. This one is just a little talk maybe about the street price. Uh, you can see these generally um, in excellent condition between the uh, $475 to $600 range. Um, suggest maybe looking for one with no lock. Uh, the latest versions, the um, 686 6 and beyond, have what's called an internal locking system. Uh, so there's a keyhole right above the cylinder release that you'll see right away on them. And so you can supposedly lock the gun up. And again, there's a lot of controversy about that if it if it's prone to lockups um, or catastrophic failure. I don't know. I'm under the school. If you find a good deal on one um, on two of them, and one has the uh, safety lock and one doesn't, I think I would go with the one without the safety lock. Again, you can research that on your own. Um, I mean, there's no purpose to the thing. It's, uh, many people just call it a lawyer lock. Uh, that being said, but the three street price um, at a gun show because you can get one used for 475 to 600. Again, deduct some if the, if it's got aftermarket grips on it because um, you're going to want keep it as original as possible. Um, should you change the grips on your own, of course, store your uh, your original grips away somewhere. These original grips on this version are just phenomenal; they fit my hand just beautifully. Anyway. Um, do try to, uh, if you get an opportunity to handle one of these, especially to sh take one to the range and shoot it, you'll be, you'll be very pleased. And um, the Smith did make a definite winner with the uh, 686. Um, thank you very much for watching. 
And as always, please stay safe.